All right, what's good, college football fans? It's your boy Akeen here to give you my last preview on a team headed towards the 2016 college football season. Wrapping things up in the SEC West Division with Mississippi State. Head coach Dan Mullins entering his eighth season had a good year last season, going nine and four overall. But they have some big shoes to fill at quarterback. They no longer have Dak Prescott, who was drafted by the Dallas Cowboys. This means Nick Fitzgerald is going to have to take over the helm, and he has some big shoes to fill. Just like I said, Dak Prescott had 29 touchdown passes to just five interceptions last season, and he also led the team in rushing with over 500 yards and 10 rushing touchdowns. He was a big player and I think he, this is going to be a tough task for Fitzgerald his first year as a starting quarterback. Now they do have some players returning offensively with uh, Fred uh, Ross returning. He was last season's leading receiver. Now they no, no longer have the run year Wilson but Ross was the leading target and I think he could be do good for a good senior campaign. Um, and at running back a player that I kind of like a little bit is Brandon Holloway who actually does a pretty good job as a receiver out of the backfield. He did have just under 400 yards receiving but over I believe just over 400 yards rushing 4.5 yards per carry but I do believe the numbers is going to climb up a lot more this season because of the of a new quarterback um, and the year. Now defensively, they do have the return of Richie Brown who led the team with 98 tackles last season and five and a half sacks. And as far as the defensive line, AJ Jefferson is the main guy returning. He did have 10 plus sacks, uh, 10 plus tackles for loss last season. But they um, um and as far as the secondary, it's Brandon Bright who I'm looking at. He did have three interceptions last season as well. Now there's a little bit of a tough task defensively because they no longer have Manny Diaz as their defensive coordinator. And he is a good defensive coordinator. Actually decided to become the new defensive coordinator for the U. So this is gonna be a new um defensive coordinator and um Peter Sermon, who's actually coming from the USC Trojans. So I do wish this defense the best of luck, but I think there'll be just a little bit Fine. If you take a good look at their schedule, I believe that they have a nice, safe schedule to try to rebuild things um, as a team with a new quarterback. Now, the toughest games that they have is September 17th against LSU, November the 12th against Alabama, and November 26th against Ole Miss. They also have to deal with BYU. That could be a loss as well. So, if you take a look at the schedule, they also they have to face Sanford. They have to face um, South Alabama, South Carolina, Kentucky. Those they have some pretty, pretty wins. Um, games that I believe that they should still win. And if you take a good look at their schedule, they only have four or five tough tasks. I think this team could go definitely seven and five at the end of the season. But I do believe that they could pull an upset this year and go eight and four overall for the season. Just take a good look at the schedule. Like I said, they have some pretty um light, light games compared to what they had last season. And I think they have a chance to still make it to a definitely a bowl matchup. But pulling off eight wins with a new quarterback, that's not bad. So this team to rebuild time for them to rebuild and they did pick up uh, Jeffrey Simmons a five-star recruit at defensive end even though he's already coming and getting into trouble but Mississippi State is trying their best to take care of it and address the situation now the next time I'm going to catch you guys to talk about college football is just before week one in which I would give you my predictions for that week thank you for watching today's blogs I'm your man Nikki McCall be easy